We are so happy to be here tonight at the Whitney Museum. Our guest this evening is illustrious international superstar, singer, songwriter, comedian, actress, performer, writer, dreamer, muse. Please join me in welcoming Justin Vivian Bond. Hi. Why don't we tell our viewers now, how did Mix Justin Vivian Bond come to fruition? Well, when I was in my 20s, early 20s, I was at a club in D.C. and I was born Stanley Huffman Bond III. That's my real name, named after my grandfather who left my grandmother when my father was three. My father never knew him, yet she insisted they name me after some man that left her <laughs> that no one knew. Well, I never really felt like that was a responsible choice. <laughs> and so since no one else took responsibility for naming me, I let this uh, African-American queen named Ray Ray name me in a club called Track in uh, D.C. And he didn't choose the name. He just was trying to come up with a name. And uh, he kept saying, because my family called me Chip because I was a chip off the old, I don't know, abandoned block. <laughs> and uh, so uh, I was called Chip. I was like, I cannot be a 40-year-old fag named Chip. No way. <laughs> and so this queen was going, Chip is just... She was just trying to describe me, and I was like, just, just, just. And I was going to call myself Just Bond, but I thought that was too much like Simply Red, who was a pop star at that time. So I chose Justin Bond because it's the beige of names, and beige is my favorite color. Aggressively neutral is my mantra. So you're here to promote your new music video. No, I'm here to be with you. Oh, my God. <laughs> but we had to have an excuse. <laughs> the Golden Age of Hustlers, directed... Thank you. Directed by Silas Howard and Aaron Greenwell. In the olden days, the golden age of hustlers. In the olden days, the golden age of hustlers. It was just this kind of dreamscape of people from all different um, walks of my life and it was really exciting because the song is about San Francisco which is where I found my queer voice and, and I was um, really enjoying the fact that I was a sex object for gays at that time and I had never experienced that and I was like if they find out I'm trans they're not going to want to have sex with me anymore which turned out not to be true at all FYI. <laughs> but that was my hysterica that was my panic and um, so what was the question? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Thank you, Mix Chubby and Vivian Bond.